Hello everybody and welcome to a game called Poppy Playtime. Yes, this one's been out for a, a good while, uh, but it's one that I haven't played. So, um, well, I'm going to have a go. This is chapter one. I forget the title name. There we are. A tight squeeze. Um, it is my information uh, that this is um, a, a friendly toy. Giant in size. Uh, we'll learn more later on. But for now, here's the premise. As an ex employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everybody within disappeared. Why would I return? Also, who am I? What am I? Hold any button to skip. I haven't got the any button. Every game has this. Vidras. You are about to see. The most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy. Yes. And she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Oh, it's Poppy a bit delayed. Poppy her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Hmm. Yay! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. <laughs> Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect! I'm Thank not sure if it's you. deliberate, but there's a slight is dirty delay. And won't come out when you brush video. it. And smells just like a poppy flower. Is oh, there anything else high. you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An wow. entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can... Excuse me? Well, here we go. Okay, so we've got a videotape, a uh, vintage poppy commercial, <coughs> and a bit of a note here. Everyone thinks the staff had disappeared years ago. So, ah, find the flower. Oh my god, let me read it. Okay. Get the idea. Right. Loading. Ah! We're in. Okay. Okay. Instantly, I'm drawn to the escape button, which says to pause. No. Uh, oh, there's a lovely room. What's that? What the bloody hell? Oh. I, sorry, who are you? Poppy wants to play. Okay. What have we got here? Stuff only E to interact. Oh, I need to go in there. Anyway, um, yeah, okay, that's it. I need to find a, a, a colour code for that one. Uh, welcome, yes. Oh, handprint. Mm, something's needed for that door. Door parts. Um, ah, the old. VHS tape machine with a TV to connect. Oh, green, green. Well, it did say press E to interact, so I assume that would be the same for many things. Uh, tab to view items. Uh, yeah, a green tape. Okay, I think I got that. Sit upside down. Pass the deliberate. Hi. Oh. My name is Leif Pierre, and Hello. I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, you? then you're trespassing. Oh. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. But I so, work here. So, trespasser, well, you to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent childcare, yes. we also pride ourselves 
on our security. Please. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, uh, once set off, will turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. Right. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Sure. What is that on the screen? Is that a reflection of... Oh, that's, oh, that's clever. Okay. I like games that do that. Sort of reflections. It's very simple. Things. Okay. What's in here? E to open doors. Oh, there's a train. Wait a minute. Come around again. Green. Pink. Yeah. <gasps> Is that... Okay, either my brain's just melted out my ears, or this train is telling me that that could be the code for this door. Oh, what are you looking at? Would you st actually stop a minute, will you? Stop! Never mind. Green, pink, yellow, red. Okay, curiosity. Fuck, I've forgotten it. Um, green, pink, yellow, red. Okay. Green. Great, and there is a blue machine with a blue tape. And whatever the hell that is. Uh, e to pick up item. Yeah, it's all right then. Okay, slide that one in. Steady, and uh, here we go. Right. Oh, oh, God, that's too close. Okay. Also, how small am I? Anyway. Tighten the straps. Oh, is that that thing? Hold both cannons. Pull trigger to fire. Pull again to retract. Hold to grip onto object. What is this, portal? Only fire at small objects handles. Do not fire a coat back. Oh, oh. Wire is conductive, used for rewiring. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So don't don't use this pack on human life is what we're um, saying. Ah, it's open. Automatic pickup. No. Oh. To fire left hand. Oh. Cool. Now I just need someone to give me five. Where? What the? F the lights changed. Oh, that's good. Oh, I like that. Light perceptional changes in games. Atmospheric balances. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right. Go then. That seems to make sense. Can I let go? I can. Um. Hello? Why did I choose to do that? Um, who are you? Are you H. Bucky? Huh? Bucky. Perfect for all ages. I hope not. <laughs> okay, well, let's read about it. Huggy Wuggy, circa 1984. Interesting. Two years before I was born. <laughs> Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Hi there. Our founder, Eddie Ludwig, Aim to create a toy which could hug you forever. There's a problem. Um, tactile, yes. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating the most lifelike toys was a success. No. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. 
I hope not for real. Um, <clears throat> Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling toy so far. Okay, well, pretty small here. Um, are you alright, dude? Go on then. Ah. Okay. Alright, enough doodling around. Well, okay. It looks like I need a red hand. Can I still use this? No, okay. So click on, click off. Okay. So it looks like oh, there's power there. Testing, innovation, theatre, cafeteria, and whatever the hell's behind this door. And you, I swear to God, you are moving just the slightest. Oh, that's a problem. What? Where'd you get that from? Never mind. Mine now. What the hell does that unlock? Um. This door? Maybe. Who's this cool cat? Are you even a cat? You're a cat with wings. No idea. Cat fly. Fly of cat. Talking rubbish. All right, staff only. Can I shut that? I can. Still there. Uh, okay, what do we got here? We've got some stuff. What? I was going to say we've got some sort of Tesla coil um, thing going on here. Okay, so we need power. Remember. Do be kind to others. Show up on time. Not hide behind doors to scare life people. Not stay past 8 p.m. Misuse company time. Tamper with machinery. Enter innovation without authorization. Oh, which one are you? You're the pink version of Huggy Wuggy. Are you Madame Huggy Wuggy? That's the wrong button. Oh, anything there? No. Can I? Oh, okay. Um, oh, this looks possible. Grab to divert power. Oh, okay. So I have power. I assume. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this. Ah, okay. Let me light your path. How about here? Oh, stuck. What am I stuck on? Nothing. Oh! Uh. Um. Oh. Well, there's a problem. Can I try this again? Yes. Oh. Okay. Make a friend. Hmm. I saw that. Can't go there. Stairway to hell. Yeah. All right. I'm sure, there's a song there. Hmm. Bro. I was looking for a flashlight. I pressed F and then this mist appeared. Some alien isolation vibes here. Just that and the sound. What's more scary, this guy or the alien? From Alien Isolation. Or indeed the films. Oh, my God. Okay, we've got a yellow... VHS there. Uh, so I'd imagine. What's up here? Can I move this? No. What if it's up there? It's going to be close by. Not there. Huggies, these. Remember to take breaks. Breaks are than 10 minutes are not permitted. <laughs> yeah, remember to, remember to take breaks. Ah. Am I supposed to connect all these? Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was something. Okay. So, do 
I need to go down here? I think so. Right, I need a red hand. There's something there. Oh, no, that's it. Let's go and have a look around. Actually, can I do that? No. Hmm. So let's scout around. Ah, that's something. Go and get it. Ah, get it. Oh, keep your finger on to pull. Right. Okay, this just leads back into here. That's fine. Ooh, got another one. Nice. Ah! Aha, yellow tape. Right. I'm just going to shove this in. Why are they all upside down? don't know. Rich, where are they keeping the huggy boxes? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when maintenance left in a sweep of this place? <laughs> no. Exactly. Nobody in this stupid company knows what they're doing. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a single box in its place since they started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I get it. It's a nice program and all on brand. Hard to be happy about it when manufacturing's on our necks about it, because we can't find stupid hockey boxes. Rich. Hmm. Oh, you're right. You're easy, right. easy then. It's, it's for the orphans. I just wish there were less boxes. Anything less would be more habitable. Is, is that even a word? Habitable. I, I have no idea. It sounds like it should be. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Is a bitable a word? A bit a bitable. A bit of bitable. Right, I need to go up. Because I've picked up a couple more things. Right. So I've got green and red to find. Uh, I wonder where they are. Can I not jump over? Them? Okay. Aha! No, not you. Right, which one was that? That was a green, wasn't it? I right, got one more to find. Is that it? Yes. No. Dang. It's not behind here, is it? There's something behind it. It's not behind in there. That's got to be it, surely. Is it not? Connected with some. Oh god, I'm stuck. Um, I, I can no longer jump. I can no longer jump. Jumping ability is gone. Jumping ability is gone. Right, got the last one. Did we get a second hand? Haha, <laughs> get it. Because I'm late for that. Now, this is what we need to get into. Well, this door, I would imagine. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so I do Habushki and. Do both at the same time. Okay, how do I? Ah, I can crouch. Ooh, this looks fun. Whee! Oh. Grab to complete the circuit. Oh. 
But I need I need to connect. Ah. Right, so Oh! Here I go. Oh, <laughs> I did something. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Can't really see much, it's a bit dark. Oh, 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 okay. Yep. There's a problem. Look behind me, is it? Well, I'm out. <laughs> Wherever out is. Nobody leaves without a toy. Okay. Need power. That's interesting. Something came through this area. Something large. Might it be a big blue monster? In the name of Huggy Wuggy. Ah, pink cassette player. Right, so we need a pink tape. Alright. Okay. So there's my end point. Oh, I see a pink tape. How do I get off this? There we go. Right. Let's see who's on this one. So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Ah. Oh. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. Uh. There's things, though. Like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something. Right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. Sure. Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, I think I may have got it. Okay, power on. Oh, I didn't really... Oh! Oh, how well, boring. Okay, let's read this. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. Yet all of the amazing things he that he created 
and the Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts and will then paint, assemble and do a quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting or back-breaking labour. This machine can do all that and... Oh! So can I pull all these now? Is that, is that the case? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Well, there we go. I don't like how those eyes are following me. You looking at? Yeah? You want some beer? Oh, sorry. Can I have? Right. Is it? Is this toy my way out? I think it is. Well, thank you, machines, for building me a toy. You, you're just weird. Okay. Oh. Scanning. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now where do I go? Hello? Oh, stairway to hell. No, nope, I guess not. No. Oh! oh shit. Um. Oh god, okay, there he is. Huggy wuggy wuggy. Oh god, it's talking here. Um, I'm just gonna run like hell. I'm not gonna look back. Uh, am I still moving? Whoa, this way. Oh god. Oh, is that. Woo! Ah! E! Ah! Don't. Something. Panic? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. Uh. Oof. God, he's fast. Oh, that's really slow. Hey! Wow. Oh, piss! Uh, this way. Uh, no. Uh, just, uh. Run. Run! Apparently I'm running. Where am I? Oh, dear, for, dear, crouch! Uh, ooh, uh, no, this way. Okay, oh no. Oh! Fast! Oh my! Oh god! Okay. It all. Duh. Oh crap! Ah. Go 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 go! Okay. How? Oh. Well, that looks fun. Ah! So. Ooh. Ow! Oh! Ah! E! Ah! That's real blood from a toy. Okay, that's weird. I'm leaving now. Ah, that's what we saw. At the beginning. In that video. Ah, I wonder if, um... Well, it's Poppy. I wonder if that's where, um... The Poppy doll is going to be. Oh, what's this? Ooh, tape. Okay. Let's see what this one is. Just a standard grey. Is it a secret tape? Don't know. Final lock in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, these events are no doubt in relation to him absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... 
Oh, shooked. Shooked. Don't know what that means. Okay. Um, I'm definitely getting the hell out of it. No, run. St no, stop. Danger. Go back. Turn around. Um, well, you know what? I've come this far. Oh, yeah. This looks... Uh, inviting. This looks like it should be accessible. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gripping it. Hmm. Or is that something we'll have to come back to? There she is. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a quick conclusion here that she might be evil. Whoa. Uh-uh. You opened my case. Apparently. Oh. I see end of chapter one. It's quite short. Okay. Well, we do know there's two more chapters. I think it's actually really good. I love the arm mechanisms. It's very Portal-esque. Um, obviously, with slightly less complex puzzles in each room, it's just simply getting the right length of cord around those sort of... I'm going to call them Teslas. Or Tesla coils. Um... I think I've got all the tapes. I'm uncertain. That last one, I think it looks as if it could be missable because it's grey and it's sort of blending in with a walkway. But it mentions something about a prototype. That's interesting. For what? Whom? Mmm, right. Okay. Well, I enjoyed it. I um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video as well. If you did, do leave a like, uh, subscribe and comment. Um, say our goals now. We surpassed the subscriber mark, which is a thousand, nearly at three. Um, thanks primarily to two uh, YouTube video promotions uh, on my channel. They're now finished. They're complete um, as of the first of this month. So that's that. Um, and now we just need to get watch time in. So that we can get the channel to the next milestone. So that you guys become members by clicking a join button. We've got... I think the shop is actually in the primary um, milestone. Um, there's one of the... Su oh, yeah. Supers. That's something to do with live thing. Super chat. Um, but it's interactable. So there you go. Um, good. So that's the end of the first chapter from Poppy Playtime. I say there are two other chapters. I believe they are available. I think the chapter has only just um, surfaced or been released. I could be wrong, but it is available. Um, so if you'd like to see me play the second and third chapters of Poppy Playtime, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, and if you got this far, thank you very much for watching. Past, present and future watchers. Cheerio!